Hey guys, what's going on? This is I, I Host here, and today I am making a video using my iPod Touch 4G. And um, as you can see here, I am on iOS 5 because I have the Reminders tab, New Stand, and um, I can also show you in Settings. But yeah, the Reminders tab and New Stand uh, do actually work. I am on iOS 5, I'm not lying. Uh, and I can also show you using the Settings in the Settings here. Um, about and there you go version 5.0 um, that's what I'm on I'm on iPod Touch 4G now you can do this on any uh, iDevice right now that is supported by iOS 5 which is the uh, iPhone 4 iPod Touch 3G and 4G and I think it's the iPhone 3GS and iPad iPad first generation and iPad second generation but I do not recommend doing this if you're using the, bypa the bypass activation on an iPhone because you cannot use it, okay? And there is a jailbreak for this, but none of the City of Tweaks work for it yet. Some of them do, but not many, so I recommend staying away from the jailbreak. And it's only untethered at the moment, so I recommend, highly recommend staying off, a, a stay away from the jailbreak, and stay away from iOS 5 if you are on it. And you're stuck on it, and I'm going to show you how. So, to originally go on iOS 5, you have to download iTunes 10.5 Beta 1 to uh, restore to iOS 5 and now you're stuck on it and you can't get off so now this video is going to show you how to get off of iOS 5 so first of all you're going to want to go down to the link in the description download your firmware 4.3.3 for the iPod touch um, iPod touch uh, whatever iDevice you have that's stuck on iOS 5 and the reason why you're watching this video um, and then you want to go back down to the description and download iTunes 10.3, okay? Not iTunes 10.5, that's what you already have. Download iTunes 10.3, uh, okay? And then, we're, um, yeah, so once you have it 10.3 downloaded, okay, so now that you have iTunes 10.3 downloaded, you're going to want to go ahead and plug in your uh, iPod Touch and make sure iTunes opens up on your computer. Alrighty guys, so now uh, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Now what you're going to have to do is you're going to want to put your iDevice in DFU mode. So now if you have no idea what DFU mode is, it is a pawn state to be able to downgrade your iDevice. So basically I'm going to show you how to do it. You hold down the power button and the home button at the same time when you want to start here. So just let, watch me do it and then do it, okay? So unless you already know how to do it. If you don't, watch me do it and then you do it. Hold down both buttons at the same time, starting now if you're going to follow me now and wait for a black screen to appear once you see the black screen let go of the sleep button and keep holding the home button and once you see the message in iTunes that it's in recovery mode you can let go of the home button now I'm not in recovery mode I'm in a black screen here uh, on my iPod touch so you can go ahead and put that down and now you're on your computer and you got this message iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode you must restore this iPod before you can use it be used with iTunes. Go ahead and just click OK. So now, if you're on a Windows computer such as me, you're going to want to click the Shift button on your keyboard. As you can see, the Shift button right there. You want to hold Shift and click the Restore button right here. If you're on a Mac, you want to hold the Alt button and then click Restore. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to put my camera down and go ahead and click Shift and then click Restore. And now this message is going to pop up after you do that. A little little thing here and it's going to allow you to browse for your firmware so you go ahead and find the 4.3.3 firmware or whatever firmware you downloaded for your iDevice I have mine all in this IPSW folder and you just want to find the iPod 4 4.3.3 which happens to be right here and right here I have two uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and just keep that one and then open now it's going to say iTunes will erase and restore your iPod to 4.3.3 and will verify the restore with Apple. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and click restore. And now all iTunes will do the rest of the work for you. And uh, now you should have a uh, restored iPod Touch back to the original firmware that it was on. And you can go ahead and re jailbreak. Thank you guys for watching this. And go ahead and stay tuned to this video to uh, see that my iPod is really back on 4.3.3. Just a little side note guys, I didn't mention this before. Before you try to be downgraded, make sure you did have your SHSH blob saved in City before you even go to iOS 5. Uh, now I know, I, you, I know I'm saying this a little late, but um, to even downgrade, I think you're going to have to be able to do that. So, you're going to just want to go ahead and click, if you did not have these SHSH blobs saved, if you ever jailbroke and click to make my life easier when you open up City for the first time on your iDevice, you have did this. Um, 
Now, if you uh, didn't, and you didn't have your SHSH blob saved, don't worry, you're you're still okay. Go into iTunes and then just click restore by itself. Don't hit shift or alt. Click restore and update and it will be perfectly fine. You will be okay. So, thanks for watching, guys. Alrighty, guys. Now my iPod Touch has completely finished restoring back to... Um, back to 4.3.3 that little message that you seen there and I got the Apple logo just waiting for my iPod to boot up here and I'm just gonna go ahead and wait and wait and wait and wait until it goes back to um to the screen comes up here so this this little bar will go fast it doesn't take that long for this one to go so thanks for watching guys if you if I helped you out please click the subscribe button if you aren't already and if you please would uh, go ahead and um, <clears throat> and uh, click the little like button here. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. And actually, I'll let you uh, wait and see just to show you that this does actually unlock here, and show you that I am on 4.3.3, just so I don't have any trolls telling me I'm lying. And, and there you go. I was 4.3.3. All right, guys. Peace out.